Okay, so let's continue with our Kafka Python tutorial series. And uh, till now, what we did is we have uh, produced the message in the Avro format, and then we have consumed the message in the Avro format. So let me quickly start my Red Panda cluster. So Docker compose up. So just let wait for a couple of seconds. And our cluster has been up, so let me refresh it. So my cluster has been out and there is no topic and there is no schema registry and one broker is running. And if I run my producer, every producer, which we write our code in the previous video, every producer. And so it is going to first uh, create the topic. So if you click on the topic, so it's created the topic and then it is going to register our schema. So if you click on the schema registry, so schema has been registered as well. Now let's uh, publish some message. So enter first name Sumanshu, enter second name, enter enter last name Namkana, enter age 34. So message has been sent. And if you go to the topics and within the topic, you see the message. So we have the message. So this message has consists of various uh, things. One is key, one is value, one is address, right? So currently we are only passing the value. We are not passing the key. So that's why key is coming as a null. If, you, if I put the cursor on this, you could see key is null and and even on the headers i can't even click on the address right so even on key because there is no key and i can't click on the key and if you see here key is null uh value is uh whatever the message we send and it is in the avro format and the headers no headers are set so how we can pass the key and how we can pass the headers so we are going to uh, like uh, check that so if you come uh, come here on the official documentation so so we are producing some message right so this, uh, if we have to pass, if we are passing some value that is using the producer API. So if we have to pass key and if we have to pass header, that is also using the producer API. So if you click on the producer API and we are using the produce function. So if you scroll down, so we are using the produce function. So within the produce function, currently we are passing the topic and we are passing the value. We are not passing the key. We are not passing a partition. We are not passing on delivery. We are not passing timestamp. We are, we are not even passing header. So in this video, because in the actual project, these things are mandatory and not mandatory. Like, uh, this is of no use, like, because you are passing some key. If someone has to tell, okay, my, this message has some issues, but which message? So how they, the user is going to tell you? So using some key, right? So key is the important part. So how we can pass that? So if you come here in our code, so let me open my Avro producer code. And so this is our send message. So in the send message, you could see I am passing the topic. I am passing the value, All right? So here I can pass topic and I am passing the value. So these two parameters I am passing, right? So topic and value. So I'm not passing the key. So let's pass a key as well. Key. So what could be the key? So what key we can pass? So generally, uh, a key could be some unique identifier, which we can pass. So unique identifier we can generate from the UID. All right. So in, uh, we have the module called UID. So from UUID, import UUID4. So we can generate that key. And UUID4. All right. So if you just pass this, it is going to be fail. Why it is going to fail? Because UUID4 is of type UUID. So if I go to the terminal and if I do Python and do from UUID import UUID4 and I do UUID4. So you could see it is of type UUID4. All right. But the key should be of type either string or either bytes. Right. So we need to we need to convert into a string. So we can do string of UUID4. Right. So now it is of type string, right? Now it is of type string. So we need to pass as a string. So we need to pass it as a string. All right. And uh, yeah, that's it. So let me uh, re rerun the producer application. Python. Uh, Avro producer.py. So enter your first name. Uh, something Alice James Harry all right enter age 20 so message has been sent now we could see we are expecting key should be there as well along with the message so if you refresh it 
so we have two message one is the message which we earlier sent without key and other is the message which we have sent with the key so now you could see one juju id key is coming here so now we could see uh, in earlier message key is null but now in this message key is some text because key is a string so string is a text and in the value values so, but still we don't have the header so how to pass the headers so if you go to the documentation so headers we can pass as a headers and header should be a dictionary all right so let me pass the headers as well so in the produce function we are passing topic we are passing key we are passing value and we have to pass the headers so header is a like uh, a dictionary so let's pass correlation id I am going to tell you what is the correlation ID. So it is also you will do type four and it is also type string. All right. So let me rerun my producer code. Python avro producer.py. So enter first name Paul Chandler dot 43. So message has been sent. And let's refresh it. So we have the third message. Now you could see in the first message, we neither have the key, neither have the headers. In the second message, we have the key, but we don't have the headers. So there are no header set. All right. In the third message, we have the key, we have the value, we have the header set. And how we can see the header? So click on the key, we can see the key, click on the value, we can see the value, click on the headers, we can see the headers. So in the header, we have the correlation ID, and this is like a some some dummy id or some unique id we are passing here All right so we we are passing here so in this way we can pass that but if you noticed if you noticed here when we are passing the value we are serializing it but when we are passing key we are not serializing it so ideally we need to serialize it because this is a string this is a string and by default producer used a string serialization All right so by default, it is using the string serialization, but if still you want to use the string serialization, you want to specifically show here. So you can show, you can like, uh, you can show here. So if you come here and you do string serialization, serializer, one second. So let me scroll up and we have the string serializer and we can get this library string serializer in the serialization and we can create a variable self dot key serializer which is a string serializer and is is it going to take any argument so it is going to take a judec argument which is default to utf8 so either you you will pass or either you don't pass it so it's up to us so we can pass so utf8 uh, all right so we are passing and now so we can we can like uh, uh, perform this string serialization self dot key serializer and we can perform we can serialize uh, like our particular key so this is not required because as i told you string serialization is by default all right that's why it did not give you the error that's why it did not tell you i need the bytes message and you are sending us so this is this is not required but you can still like uh, uh just to make to for the clarity of the code okay which serialization we are using so you can like uh pass that string serializer right so let me rerun the code python ever ever producer and uh low some some name some name some image and it has been passed let me refresh it so we have some text message, we have some key, we have some value, we have the address. All right. So, but what is the correlation ID and why we are passing it? So correlation ID is uh, nothing. We can just give some key ID. So why we are passing it as an header? Uh, the reason is, so let's suppose you are the producer. You are the producer. You are producing so many messages, right? So, so all the messages come into the Kafka cluster. So there should be some consumer, right? So who are going to use your uh, message? Otherwise, why you are producing your message? If no, none of the application is going to consume that, right? So let's put there are some consumer and consumer is going to consume this message, consumer consume this message, consumer consume this message, consumer consume this message, consumer consume all the four messages. 
and consumer found some issue in this message consumer found some issue in this message maybe some format issue or whatever uh, field it is expecting uh, it is not there and so consumer has to tell to the producer team like whatever the message you are producing the particular message did not produce correctly so can you check your code right so how the consumer is going to tell because there there could be millions of messages right so how the consumer is going to tell one option is using key one option is using key but let's suppose if the same key is going to be like uh, if the same message is going to be pushed again sometimes because in this case though we are generating some unique key but generally it's generally uh, this key is part of some message maybe some id is here and the particular id is here so let's suppose we can uh, create one more field user id and so in that case uh, key will be uh, that particular id so key will be remain same so if we are going to publish the same message all right so the id will remain same right so id will remain same so how the user is going to tell whether the problem with this message or the problem with the message which is going to publish now or with the problem with the message which is going to publish earlier so the what the consumer will do consumer will come to the header section consumer will copy this correlation id and consumer will pass this correlation id to the producer team and and, and they will, consumer will tell okay so this is the id and uh, for which we are facing uh, so much uh, like this this issue now the consumer will team come and consumer will team, like uh, filter the message based upon the headers and on the header which are the correlation id is equal to this and they will get the particular message and they can debug that so this is basically for the debugging purpose so you can track the messages right so that's how we are passing this so these in actual project key value header so these are some important fields which we need to pass all right so we have uh, done that so it's a very like uh, like by like very short video right so in this case if you noticed uh key and correlation id both are same key and correlation id so you can question if the key and co correlation id are both are same then there is no need to pass the correlation id you are absolutely correct there is no need but generally like we pass some different values so correlation id maybe we pass uh, some git commit okay using which code we are uh, producing this message maybe some timestamp or something else all right so but yes yeah, so in, uh, so in that case uh, it will be different so that's it that's the end of the video uh thank you